Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you one step solution for all your placement needs friends today we are going to discuss few of the important aptitude questions which will be definitely very much helpful for upcoming TCS NQT and other examination so let us start with the question number one before that friends I just wanted to tell you online study for you completed two years today that means on 28th of September and that is the reason we are offering 10% discount on all the courses so friends till now we have given 5000 plus selections 63,300 plus subscribers and 37 million views so friends let us start with the question number one so there are some boys and some girls in a room so boys we will uh, you know represent with B and girls we will represent as G so there are some boys and some girls are there in a room so friends this question is a very good question so it you might feel there is only three line questions but this will give you a concept and a similar concept questions are getting asked in the TCS examination friends do not go for very long long questions whatever is required that's what we have to study for our examination right okay so even we will be discussing the more difficult problems as well in the upcoming videos so there are some boys and girls in a room the square of the number of girl is less than a square of boys by 28 so here I can I could see there is one equation is there okay so the square of number of girls so the square of number of girls is less than is less than the square of number of boys by what value by 28 okay so this is one of my equation this I can also write B minus G into B plus G is equals to 28 and that becomes my equation 1 if there were two more girls if there were two more girls so how much girls initially we have assumed G so if there were two more girls okay see if there were two more girls the number of boys okay so G plus 2 the number of boys would have been the same as that number of girls so if two more girls will join then the number of girls and boys will become same so this is my equation 2 and now I could see here friends so B minus G G I will get it that side will be equal to 2 so B minus G we have got as 2 okay fine into B plus G we do not know okay is equals to 28 what they're asking the total number of boys and girls in the room are now friends so what will be the value of B plus G so that this multiplication will be equal to 28 so friends if I put this value is equal to 14 then only I will be getting the multiplication is equals to 28 so it is very much clear the total number of boys and girls inside this room is nothing but 20 not 28 14 right so here we have got 14 so the total number of boys and girls inside the room is nothing but 14 so option B will become the correct answer so friends here you know we have to understand the concept okay now question number two so in question number two this problem is very very simple and even many of you would have already attempted this kind of question but where the problem comes that we need to understand see two numbers are respectively 12 1 by 2 percentage and 25 percent is more than a third number the first number is how much percent of the second number so friends if instead of 12 1 by 2 if you you have 20 percent or 10 percent or any number not in fraction then this problem will become a piece of cake for you but friends when the number is in fraction and that's how the problem comes and then we have to deal with that so friends when you attend the basic classes of percentage so I have mentioned 12 1 by 2 percentage okay that is nothing but 12.5 percentage so 12.5 percentage will be nothing but equal to 1 by 8 okay friends it's very difficult to deal with fractions always remember okay so it's always difficult to deal with percentage okay then and 25 percent okay and 25 percent will be equal to what 1 by 4 1 by 4 also I can write 2 by 8 okay now so friends this 12.5 percent is meaning I will tell you once why I am telling you that if you understand that part then 
this questions you will be able to solve in 30 seconds and the rest of the students will take two minutes to solve this problem so that difference always will be there so 12.5 percentage is nothing but 1 by 8 that means okay if your base is 8 okay and if your base is 8 one value is 8 another value is 9 then if you calculate the percentage you will be getting 12.5 percentage okay so you can say so 8 to 9 that means there is an increment of 12.5 percent that is what is mentioned here 12.5 percentage is equals to 1 by 8 so 8 to 9 that means there is an increment of 12.5 percent is here 25 percent 25 percent is equals to 1 by 4 that means 4 and 4 plus 1 will be what 5 so 4 to 5 there is an increment of 25 percent that's what it means so 1 by 4 you can also write 2 by 8 I multiplied by 2 here I multiplied by 2 here so 8 to 10 8 plus 2 10 8 to 10 that means there is an increment of 25 percent here that is what this values means here okay no problem now friends so two numbers are respectively so this is my uh, okay number one I will check number two more than third number so what I am going to do the third number I am going to assume as 8 sir why what is the need of assuming 8 because I want to make the problem easier I can see the denominator is 8 so the third number I have assumed as 8 okay now friends 12.5 percent increment that means from 8 I have assumed as den denominator as 8 itself right so 8 it will become 9 okay now again third number is 8 so second number is 25 percent more that means from 8 it will become 10 right see 8 to 10 means what 25 percent increment so third number I assumed 8 25 percent increment means it will become 10 12.5 percent means from 8 it will become 9 that's all this is my first number and this is my second number and this is my third number friends if somebody knows the concept think how much easy it will be for him 8 so one number will be 9 second number will be 10 9 by 10 into 100 it is nothing but 90 percent right so first number is how much percentage of the second number first number is 9 and second number is 10 just multiply by 100 you will be getting 90 percent friends I could have solved it directly but I wanted you to understand the concept behind that okay that is the reason I uh, took it uh, I, I took so much of time one more way friends third number you assume 8 now first number is 12.5 percent is more than third number so 12.5 is nothing but 1 by 8 so third number is 8 first number is 8 plus 1 by 8 part of 8 that means first number will be what 9 this is how you can do it that is also not a problem again second number is not 8 it is 25 percent more 25 percent means nothing but 1 by 4th so it is nothing but 10 so friends however you feel comfortable you can do it but the concept should be there in your mind how to assume how to make the problem simple you, that you can only do nobody is going to do behalf of you then question number three is a good question friends and this is from uh, the topic ratio proportion you can say okay now so friends Rama expenditure and savings are in the ratio 5 is to 3 so Rama expenditure okay and Rama saving ratio is nothing but 5 is to 3 so friends in mathematics no the main thing is uh, the aptitude the main thing is is assumption okay the main thing is assumption so if you are able to assume the correct value you will be able to get the answer easily in the previous question also you could have assumed 16 32 80 whatever you want you can assume because your options are given in the terms of percentage so when your options are given in terms of percentage then you can assume but the assumption also should be uh, you know very clear very in such a way that your problems becomes easy okay so Rama expenditure and savings are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 so from here I can write Rama expenditure I will take as 500 and Rama savings I will take as 300 sir why did you do that why did you assume that see the in terms of value I can assume 5x and 3x as I said options has been given in terms of percentage so my dear friends you are free to assume whatever value you want now suppose you are earning 100 rupees your income is 100 you are spending 70 rupees okay your expenditure and you are saving 30 rupees that means income will be expenditure plus savings so here my expenditure is there savings is there 
so rama uh, income will be equal to what 500 plus 300 that is nothing but 800 based on this formula this is not a formula it's a common sense okay if ramas is a girl okay so if her income increases by 12 percent so ramas income is now 800 so if ramas incomes increased by 12 percent so 12 percent of 800 will be what so 12 percent of 800 will be nothing but 96 so if Rama's income now becomes 896 earlier it was 800 now 12 percent increment means 896 and expenditure by 15 percent expenditure earlier was 300 okay uh, sorry uh, expenditure was 500 so expenditure 500 now so expenditure increases by 15 percent so 15 percent of 500 will be what 75 so now the expenditure becomes 500 so what will be savings so savings was earlier 300 and now the saving became 6 minus 5 is 1 9 minus 7 is 2 and 8 minus 5 is 3 this is my new saving okay so how much percentage does her saving increases so friends if your base is 100 now then your problem is that's all very very easy so what I will do I will divide this by 3 so it will become 100 I will divide this by 3 it will become 107 you can directly say sir it is nothing but 7 percent other students what they will do oh so 300 and then 321 21 is a difference divided by 300 they will be keep doing that until then you will solve the problems just by assuming many of your friend they will take 8x they will take 5x and they will be keep struggling with the problem so friends understand the difference so if you really want to make your aptitude easier then friends we are here to help you out and we will definitely uh, working on the series of TCS NQT okay and friends so online study for you completed two years that means on 28th of September and friends uh, on my birthday I had started this channel so today it completed uh, two years I mean tomorrow it will complete two years if I am uploading the video uh, today and friends so from 19th of September 12 p.m. onwards so you are going to get 10% discount on all the courses okay 10% discount on all the courses so friends and this will be the opportunity only for uh, this date so friends till now we have achieved 5000 plus selections so you might have seen in the comment box sir I got selected in Capgemini sir I got selected in TCS LTI okay friends uh, we have achieved uh, 63,300 so this subscriber is a wrong word here so family members okay so my youtube channel is having 63,300 family members and friends till now we have got 37 uh, millions okay so 37 millions plus views so 37 million people have uh, really loved us in the other way so friends uh, keep supporting us and uh, get the materials today itself so what you have to do is so you have to visit our website online study for you dot in uh, okay and then what you have to do you have to go inside the premium materials that is video materials and friends this TCS NQT 2021 preparation material this is specifically for TCS and if somebody wants uh, the complete material friends then uh, we have aptitude reasoning coding and English complete material for all the placement exams so whichever exams you referring so this uh, you know I mean or LTI or any other DXC any examination friends you can go for this material so all the prices drop you will be able to see uh, from uh, today uh, 12 o'clock night so friends uh, thank you uh, thanks a lot for your love and support so I'm taking off from the session and we will be keep doing the hard work for you guys thank you